Look at this. Just look at this. My precious. My precious. It's somewhere in there. Smeagol likes it. All right, ladies and gents, welcome back to another episode. Yes, I know. I'm aware that you're not used to this setup. This is actually one of my Amazon and TikTok setups where I do product reviews. Keeping all that aside, I want to show you what's in this box. Basically, kind of the chase. This is a subscription box that I received. I'm not, this is not a sponsorship. I'm not going to even mention the company. And matter of fact, I just paused my subscription. Precious metal, boomer rocks. Yeah. I just want to give you a few use cases. Reasoning behind holding boomer tokens. Uh, I mean, gold and precious, precious metal and whatnot versus crypto, stock, asset like real estate, etc. And why did I say I'm pausing this for a while? Well, let's talk about uh, Jeffrey and an individual. If Jeffrey has a lot of debt, Jeffrey should focus on paying off that debt first from the top in terms of interest rate. If credit card is 24 person, whatever, should knock off the credit card first and then the rest, mortgage and whatnot, right? Before thinking heavily, investing into any asset class that you got to hold for quite some time. You can't just go straight up, liquid, uh, liquidify. Liquidify? Yeah, I mean, you know, if, I, if this was crypto, right now, if this was a crypto token right here, all right, I probably could just sell it or get scammed or whatever. My hands could be itchy. Somebody could manipulate me and make me sell it or whatever. However, this one on the other side, I won't be that desperate really to go to some, some pawn shop or really list on eBay and whatnot. Like I'm really not that desperate. That's one of the interesting use cases because when you have stock crypto, you may make irrational decision Maybe you're drawing or whatever, you push it. Yeah, sure. Same thing with this. If you don't lock up or put in right spot, you can lose it and all that stuff. But however, that's one of the better use cases, just letting you know. And second, yes, I'm opening this. I know. Patience, man. Patience. And second, dude, gold. People buy watches, all the fancy jewelries. If you have girlfriend, wife, I'm sure they're accumulating through that. But then if you're a so-called alpha male, and you don't wear all the you know watches and gold and you don't show off and all the bling blings then maybe you like to collect some gold coins right silver coins just like people are collecting pokemon cards oh man good old pokemon days and i hear a lot of pokemon cards pokey cards are more expensive a lot more worth 10x than these boomer shiny rocks which is i know i know so if you like to hold those collectibles that's fine this is just like another collectibles. So first use cases, not making rational decision of selling when, you, when it comes to uh, you know, crypto and stock. Of, of course, we have this diversification, that's one. Then second, not right away you can sell, right? Because there's not liquidity right away, unless someone wants to barter with the silver coin and whatnot. And then third, collectibles, man. People buy, and yes, it's also debatable because you can sell watches and jewelry and ancient artifacts, golden artifacts. A lot more. They have a lot more value in terms of... But however, when it comes to gold coins and tokens, bullions, debatable. But still, uh, you know, once I get to know more, I can actually do a whole episode on this. Just treat it as a collectible. Instead of wearing it, I'm just collecting, man. Hey, that's it, right? And other than that, again, that's all I have for now. So, and mention, paused it. Maybe I'll, again, get it again in the future. This box over here... Is worth total purchase amount $208.30. That was the monthly subscription. You ready? <laughs> my precious. Oh my God. Uh, I've been getting this for quite some time. This is like a mystery box. You really don't know what to expect. Worth that much money, right? Watch this. Oh my goodness. Hey, silver. Look. Shiny, 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 very shiny. Look at that. That's silver. This is a red Indian. This is very nice. Troy, one tenth of an ounce. One tenth of an ounce. Okay. That's number one. What I'm going to do right now is right, put it right here, okay? So you can see. That's number one. And then this is one gram gold. This is like the standard. I've been getting this since I subscribed not too long ago. Probably have a couple of these, right? This is nice though. This is like a collectible. So see, these are actually some sort of collectibles. 
And this is very cool, all right? So this is like one gram gold. No, no, it's not one gram, it's half, probably. Let me see. Man, why half? No, no, wait, not even half. One fourth gram, bruh. One fourth. It's like putting somebody here in case you get shot. Like, hey, man, this protected my life. Yes, sir. Anyways, two. Then we have three. This is silver. This is a big one. It's an ounce. Right? Right here. Hey, fresh. Look at the shininess. That's a shiny token. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Right? Hmm. Shiny. Yeah, maybe I'm just gonna wear this with the pendant. A little chain right here. Look at this. Nice. All right, so we have one, two, three. Oh, wow. Coffee. All right, so we have one, two, three. Dang, we have a bar. We have two bars. Yes, sir. We got two bars. Yep, not selling. I'll sell when it's a million dollars. Let me see if I can take out one. So we have two, same style, same, exactly alike. So I'll just take out one, if I can. Dang, you sealed up in every possible ways. I don't think you can take, take it out. I can. It's a struggle, man. You know what? I'll pass for now. Maybe I have to cut this open. It's literally sealed. So basically it's a bar. See that? The bar. It has this ancient scribblings, like ancient Egyptian, all the caveman writings and stuff. Not, it's not exactly that. But quite a bunch of other things in the back. Very cool stuff. Very cool. So this is a bar. It's a one ounce fine silver, 999. Recovery limited. Okay. So we have two of these, right? So see what I'm getting for 200 and whatever dollars? $8, 30 cents? 30 cents, right? And I think we have one more. That's it. Come on, where's my platinum, bro? No platinum? No platinum. Hey. Hello? Dang, dang, that sucks. I want some platinum. If you're lucky, you end up being some platinum. And then we have last, but not the least, one more. So we have, I see, we have two of the same. Two of these, all right? Two ounces, two ounces, four ounces silver. We have this one tiny bit of gold, and then we have this one. And these are all like mystery box curated by their experts, so-called. And like I mentioned, this is not a sponsorship, so I'm not interested in shilling the companies. In, the, in case in the future, I keep going on for a while, and I under, you know, have a good experience and whatnot, then I'll discuss. Right now, this was just a personal experience I wanted to share with you all. That's about it. And please don't come rob my place just for this few boomer tokens because i keep you know some of the other metal just to protect myself and my family and my surroundings that's all that's all so the risk is actually not worth it <sighs> yeah so anyways that's all i have and we'll discuss like i mentioned different asset classes i gave you the three reasoning like so-called multi you know what are the chances of me going out there hey man I'm desperate to buy a pack of uh, 12 pack of beer or whatever. Please exchange with this. Maybe they would accept, maybe not. We are not still there. However, unless we are that desperate, I'm going to just keep holding on to this. This is like literally physical silver. Or you could buy into the mining. And I don't suggest mining stocks and um, gold mining stocks and all that stuff, which I will discuss again. I do differ from Peter Schiff's view, man. That's one of the things. I'm not any maxi. That's why this big Bitcoin maxis and gold maxis, you gotta be very careful, right? I'm not a maxi. I like all of them. Anytime there's a maxi word, sometimes it's a very leans towards this cult like thing. So you have to be very careful. And that's about it. All right. When you max, when you become a maxi, you can maximize your profits. So hence, you gotta drop one maxi in order to maximize the other stuff. Thanks for watching. And I will probably do a follow up in the future. But uh, as of now, I'm just gonna pause this. Because Jeffrey needs to pay the debt first, whatever debt first, and uh, and clearly, rather put on stock and something that I can sell liquidity, right? That's the difference. So you have to understand what kind of portfolio, what percentage you want to dedicate or allocate. When I say hold Bitcoin, there is like cold storage and hot wallet. Cold storage is like, oh, I'm, I'm don't plan on selling for several, several, several years. Doesn't matter, price goes up and down. That's my plan. But then if you plan on selling based on trends or whatever then that's a hot wallet and that should be the current. So you can have two different portfolio holding Bitcoin. One just for selling and trading and whatever. One is for holding. All these, I have no interest to sell or get rid of right away. So hence, that's my plan. But 
if you want to trade, then stay on liquidity market, basically. Stock, crypto, and all that stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace for now. And yeah, please don't come robbing me again. Don't come robbing me.